The only downside with doing life skilling in this game is that, as, as you can see, like you chop the tree, but the tree doesn't actually fall down. I, I kind of missed that with New World. You know, that was like one of the major things I really loved about New World was the immersion. You know, chopping a tree down and seeing it like fall or like hitting rocks and you see the see it crumble and stuff like it, it was cool. It was a nice attention to detail, which uh, I've already been hearing some decent things about the new update that's coming to New World with the two handed sword and, and the new zone stuff. It seems like they're going in the right direction. I don't know if it's enough for me to like really like dive in and, and dedicate to the game yet, but it's something at least. So that's good. It's good news for them. I'm hoping by the year 2025, we'll be able to play New World and <laughs> and actually have a good time. You know, that's what, that's what I feel like right now. I feel like the game doesn't come out until then. Like we're just playing a beta until until 2025. I know it sounds weird, but that's pretty much how gaming has become because like it, it just seems it seems like every time a game comes out especially an mmo it's never like close to anywhere to its competitors you know and i get it the other ones have been around for years blah 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 but like we're not in reinventing the wheel you know like if they would at least like address some of the major problems that other mmos suffer from then I feel like you'll have a winner, you know? And and New World was almost there. They almost had it. Because the I, I really enjoyed life skilling in that game and I really enjoyed just kind of exploring and shit. Like it was almost close to Genshin style exploring. Almost. You know, if they would have had more things to find out in the world, then I definitely would have enjoyed it more and if the lore was was like more established or had like nice cutscenes with voice acting and stuff, then I think I would have gave it more of a chance. But um, it just it just felt like everything was so last minute tacked on, you know. And and it it's obvious that it was because New World was supposed to start off as just like a standard sandbox PvP game, similar to like Conan Exiles or whatever. And then they just kind of changed it into a typical, you know. What's it, what they call it, a roller coaster MMO, uh, what, a, a theme park. That's the word, theme park. So it became, or it tried to become that, but it, it just did everything half ass. It's a half ass survival game and it's a half ass like theme park game. So I, I just, I feel like they kind of fucked up with that. But oh well, it is what it is. Like even looking forward and, and thinking about like, oh, Ashes of Creation, it's going to freaking blow everybody's socks off. And honestly, I don't think it's going to like it's it's probably going to be just as long of a of a, a wait until the game gets enough content to compare to other MMOs like World of Warcraft and, and BDO and Elder Scrolls Online and, you know, all of them. Guild Wars 2, the list goes on. And those games are already so self-established like that it, it makes it difficult for you to even give a shit about a new MMO. And the only reason why people are like so... The, the, the appeal of getting into a new game is because it's new and shiny, right? Like, it's, it's almost like getting a brand new car. It's like, oh man, I got a new car. It's fucking awesome. But it, even if you had a car that had 100,000 miles on it, it doesn't mean that it's, it's shitty. It could still run and it could still get you from point a to point b you know but like now it's a new car we got woohoo and it does the same exact shit as the other car you know so like that's that's basically what mmos have been and uh it's it's disappointing but like maybe my expectations are too high but at the same time it's like why shouldn't you expect anything less from from games that are coming out today like they got they got awesome technology now they got amazing graphics they you know you know like the list goes on with all the stuff that could could possibly be but it's like none of these developers are actually pushing the envelope to make it that good you know so like it's just it's a bummer it's a huge shame but it is what it is i guess we just gotta live with it you know and and this is the reason why i just stick with old games like i'm fine with playing black desert like indefinitely you know uh, Elder Scrolls Online, I was into that for a long time. I got burnt out of that, and it was mainly because of the stupid freaking cash shop. Like, I, I just feel like the game has become pay to win. 
and uh, people are not acknowledging it, and and they'll they'll probably fight me to the death to to say that it's not pay to win. But I feel like Elder Scrolls Online is a hell of a lot more pay to win than Black Desert. You know, like I I spent a total of like thirty bucks on Black Desert over the past like two years that I've been playing this like religiously. That's only thirty bucks compared to Elder Scrolls Online. You'll buy like the expansion pack for, for fifty to sixty bucks, and then and another expansion pack comes out, so there's another fifty to sixty bucks on top of getting like the fifteen dollars subscription because you have to because you need the crafting bag, you know, like shit like that. It's so annoying, and uh, that was the main reason why I, I got drove away from that. And then uh, Guild Wars Two, like I I got burnt out of Guild Wars Two. Like I I don't really care for the tab targeted. Like well, it's not really tab targeted, but the combat system is just very dated compared to like games like Black Desert. I tend to like want to have more variety with my gameplay and not only combat. And I, I like that Black Desert allows you to do whatever the fuck you want. Like it's a true sandbox game, and uh, that's the reason why I keep coming back to this. Hopefully the future of MMOs actually uh, starts changing, gets better over time because yeah it's just uh i'm getting kind of kind of burnt out and trying to like try new games like it just it seems pointless at this point and i i think that uh single player games are definitely more worthwhile because at least with single player games you're gonna get a, a beginning and an end and there's a story in between and there's new gameplay mechanics hopefully you know so like it it makes you feel more excited about it than than playing an mmo that it's probably going to share the same exact freaking bullshit as the other MMOs. Like, and they, they rarely address the problems. And it's just, it's pretty, it's pretty shitty. But anyway, whatever. I'm done talking about it.